This is the video for Practically the Way uh, Train Body, how to make the train body, uh, the miniature train project. Uh, this one's got a lot to it. Um, going to move through it pretty quickly. That's why we have the pause button, so don't be shy about stopping to make sure you understand things. If you have the drawings, make sure you also check. They go on two pages. Um, a lot of people miss the second page, and they're very confused how to make stuff. Uh, whatever. So I am going to start with some simple rectangles. And a lot of people just slap them up there and then dimension them, but I'm more than happy to just take that extra second to make sure I'm doing it right. Uh, this one, I'll just do the bottom part, and that goes up. Hard to tell. got to make sure I get it right. 0 0.875. And then in the back, there's another rectangle. And I'm going to go way higher than I have to. Uh, it is 1.75. Yeah. And it's supposed to go 2.35, so I'll go up to uh, 3.5. Give myself plenty. Uh, trim out this excess stuff. And that's it. Nearly forgot. When you start a file, always save it. File save as. I believe I've done this one before. Oh, looks like I deleted it. So it's part number one, the train body. Uh, I always put my name on it. Highly recommend that so people can figure it out if you just left it sitting somewhere. Okay, let's extrude this sucker. I think we want to bring it out two. And there's the basic look of our train. So we start it. I'm going to put the center in the front. Uh, so we start with the sketch on the front. We need to locate this circle. So I'm just going to do it. I'm going to get it up on the center line. See that little dotted line that shows up? That's the way to do it. And it's got a radius of 0.75. So 0.75 times 2 is the diameter. And now how high is it supposed to be? We'll dimension off of the center. And that is 1.375. So it's in the right spot. Extrude it. Make sure we're not doing a cut. And we can go a distance. We can just say to next. It's going to go and hit that wall there. Uh, make sure it's clear we want a solid. I was going to do a cut there. Now you can see our train is starting to take shape. The back is where I'm going to go next. And I want to rotate it so I can see what I'm doing. I think that's what I want, right? Yeah, that's what I want. So we'll start a sketch there. And we want to carve away the top. It's got a little curve to it. Um, so we need to, again, draw a circle. We've got to find the midpoint. Should give us a little green dot. There it is. When I go up, there's the, the black line. So I'm hooked onto that one properly. And then it says radius 2.35, 2.35 times 2. We got a fairly large circle there. Let's dimension it, figure out where it's supposed to go. And that's 0 0.375. All right. Now I want to carve out this whole piece up above. So i got to draw some straight lines here. So let me grab off the existing stuff, which is nice. Sometimes it doesn't. I have to use the project geometry. So now we zoom in and we trim away all the rest of the stuff. Bye. 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 We finished sketch. Now we have this back piece. We want to carve that out. I'm going to turn it sideways so you can watch it carve. We extrude, and we extrude and cut, and we extrude everything. So it cuts it all off. Now we have the top of our train. So we got a lot to do to this train. Um, i got to carve a hole out of the back here, so I'll just start with that. All right, and it's up here somewhere. I'm just going to make the hole, and it is... 
roughly this is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times 2 for those who can't get 1. And let's dimension it, make sure we put it in the right spot. So that is supposed to be 0 0.25 over. And let's dimension it up. That is supposed to be 1.75 up. And finish. And let's punch a hole with that sucker. Cut. All. Oh. So we carved that hole out. While I have my sheet open, I'm going to put the hole in the back. Start a sketch on the back. Uh, there is a... 0.25 diameter hole. Let's find my green center line. I think that's it. There's my dot. So it's 0 0.25 diameter. Uh, it's on the center line, so all I have to do is measure up. And it's supposed to be 0.375 up. And we finish that, and it says extrude a hole there. That goes down. 0.5. So now we've got 0 0.5 and cut. There it is. Uh, not happy with me. We'll see what that's all about. Extrude. Cut. Okay. Very odd. I don't know what went wrong on that. You can poke out there. It's just a 0.5 hole. No, whatever. Okay, now let's uh, turn this thing cool. That's how I like to see it. So we set the current view as home. Fit to view. So whenever we hit this, it kind of zooms in nice. So the back is done. Now we got to do, I guess, the front. Let's start a sketch. Now we got some holes here. One's on the center line, so let's find that green dot. There it is. When we come up, we see the dotted line. And, I don't know, about there. These are all 0 0.125 holes. Okay. And this one is 0 0.625 up. Now we've got a couple other holes here that are 0 0.125. There's another one, 0 0.125. And it says that it should be 0 0.375 from the edge. It's from here to here, 0 0.375. And the other one is 1.825 from the edge. Seems like an odd way to define it, but hey, we're doing a little datum, I think it is, dimensioning. 1.625, I think I just said 875, I read it wrong, 1.625. And how high are they? Should be 0 0.125. Seems low, that's it. Now, notice I'm doing all this at once. Uh, we got a little problem here. Whenever we try and extrude something, we can only extrude one type of thing at a time. So I'm going for all three holes. And they carve in 0.125. So you, you, and you. Since I'm doing the same, I can do them all at once. If I try to do two different extrusion, extrusions, it, it uh, consumes everything in that plane. So I want it to go point one two five. I want it to be a cut. And I should do it. Give me that hard time again. I don't know why it's doing that. It just wants me to look at it. It's more square, which seems odd. Or I have to say cut first. Very strange. But that's computer for you. So there's my three holes in the front, 98 holes in the sides, and a hole in the top. I think that's about it. Let's do the hole in the top. That's one of the trickier things to learn. Go over here to origin and we expand it. We hover over X, Y, Z plane, X, Z plane, and X, Y plane. I want the X, Z plane. And more to the point, I right click on it, make it visible. I want to offset from that plane. 
So I click that plane, and it gives me an arrow and says, well, how far do you want to offset it? So I'm going to do a little math here. I want to go up to the center line of that circular train body, 1.375, plus I need to go the radius, 0 0.75, further. And you can see when I zoom in and turn it, I'm right on that edge there, right on the tangent line. So I want to make a hole in there. And this is where the stack's going to go. So let's find our green. There it is. There's our dotted line. And it's going to be 0 0.5 diameter. And it's going to be 0.875 down. And I just have to extrude the hole down 0.25. So extrude. Cut 0.25. I wonder if this will give me an error again. Ah, actually worked this time. These planes are kind of ugly when I'm working. I rarely get rid of them until the very end because I often go, whoops, I got rid of it and I need it again. Uh, but in this case, I know I'm not going to. So our train is looking good, looking like a real train. All we need is a couple holes on this side and a couple holes on the far side. So start a sketch here. And we need a hole that's quarter inch diameter. So one goes about here, 0 0.875. And that was wrong, I just said quarter of diameter. I'll fix that in a moment. That one goes here, 0 0.25 diameter. And we click on this, double click on this, 0 0.25. Now they're located from the back, so we go from the center of this to the back, should be 1, and then from this to the back is 4.5, and from the bottom up is... 0 0.5, and from the bottom up is 0 0.5. Finished. Now, usually we'd extrude a hole. I'm going to use the hole function, and this usually freezes up on me, so bear with me. These are threaded holes. They're a quarter inch 20 UNC. So I believe I want to say threaded hole. This is a clearance hole. This is a simple hole. This is some weird tiered tapered hole. Uh, worked right away. So I want a 0 0.25 diameter. I want to go down. Hmm. This is no good. You yeah, know, it's fine. How far the threading goes is another story. 0 0.875. And gives me a termination distance. Good. Down here, I want 0 0.25 quarter inch 20. Again, it was already set up for me. Now I got to pick the two holes. Pick the center. Pick the center. Hit OK. We've got holes. How do I know they're threaded? You can see them. And they went in just the right amount. They've got a little tip at the end. So on and so on and so on. All right, that leaves the two on the back side. Now I am feeling lazy. Let's see if I can swing this. Perfect. Let's visible this plane, uh, and let's offset it. You, I want to come out here one inch. So I put the plane down the middle so that I can do this. Mirror, which is hidden here, all the way up here, mirror. Say mirror, couple features, that feature. And it actually picked them both. And then I say, what plane? Mirror this plane through this. And when I hit OK, they should show up on the other side. How do I know I did it right? They've got the tapering, the whole works. Let's get rid of those two planes, and we are done. This is the longest one we'll end up doing. Visibility. Visibility. Nearly forgot, well, I haven't saved in a while, which is a big mistake. These things crash regularly. 
Uh, I think I was saving the galvanic for this galvanized. Yeah, it's kind of gray. I could do better than that. Let's see if I can get some steel that's blue or something. Steel blue. Nope, not really my favor. My flavor. Let's go with steel polished. I think I already have one like that. Uh, so this is one of the fun things people like to do. Good enough. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look too bad either. Usually I make these colorful because then they're easier to see. Save it, and that's it. We're done.